Well, welcome to Crash Course 37. I'm Sammy Chimonahihi Alayubi, and this is going to be a tutorial on the most requested uh, item that I've had, which is 3D skyboxes. So it's only fitting that our 37th tutorial, uh, which represents the uh, number of uh, weeks that the album Thriller was number one, which is, in case you're wondering, a correlation between that and my name, Chimonahihi. Uh, we're going to be looking at a topic that a lot of people are scared to tackle. And so we've set up our skybox, actually. We can go ahead and uh, we have a canal here. Uh, we, we've set up the frame for our skybox. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly um, add a little definition to this uh, by creating uh, just a, a little bit more of a barrier. Uh, we'll make it a 32 high. And this is just going to help give the illusion uh, that we're up here. Uh, and that we can see the city skyline behind it. Because ultimately, that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a 3D skybox. Uh, and this is the basics. This isn't the uh, intermediate or advanced way to build it, but it's going to get you started. Okay, I'm going to thicken these faces. Uh, Alt-N, create a new object. Press G to thicken them. Okay, and just for right now, these back faces, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just leave them for now. Okay, later we can actually make these uh, block lights and we're going to have an upcoming Viz tutorial where we do that. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to get the 3D skybox in here and then we'll show you how to actually uh, take care of everything coming up. Uh, so um, I want to, now that we have this barrier, uh, I want to go ahead and I want to put in the actual buildings behind it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, an asset browser. Uh, I want to go through uh, some models. Now you can build this with geometry, but we're just going to do this quickly. We're going to type in building and we've got a ton of different buildings. Okay, and I'm just going to start dragging them and pulling them in. Okay, so put them into the real world like you normally would. All right, uh, let's see here. I like... Uh, this building right here. Okay, we can go ahead, let's uh, pull it down. So imagine the player, they're not gonna be able to get there, but we're trying to show like there's some sort of elevation and we can build the streets later, we can do all that. But for right now, we're just building the basics. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, I really like this one. This one looks nice. We're gonna have a, a little bit of a, uh, you know what, that's way too nice actually. No, 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 let's not have that. We wanna kind of make it look run down. Ooh, this is perfect, so. Let's go ahead and drag this over here. Uh, it's up to you how you want to uh, position it, but for right now, just vertically, we're just trying to make sure the player, when they're going through here, they can't actually go across yet. They're not going to see it, um, and it uh, looks perfect. Okay, so let's drag and drop a few more in. Get this over here. Okay, there. these are a bunch of uh, models already in the Half-Life browser, so if you have to make them yourself, okay, go ahead. You can uh, do so. All right, but uh, for right now, and for time constraints, we're just trying to make this look as nice, as quick as possible. Okay, there we go. We can add this in there. Uh, let's add, uh, like this, this will look good. Okay, so all we're doing, uh, build a frame, have some fun with it. It's up to you how you want to do this. Um, I'm just going to give it a 360 feel. So let's go to put a couple of things over here. Uh, here's another one. Maybe I put this a bit further back put it down uh, <clears throat> over here. Uh, I think maybe this will be the nicer area of town. So we have a, a nicer building. We've got a brick building over here. So we can see that uh, the departments are starting to get a little bit more uh, upscaled, you know, three times as expensive uh, over here. Now we'll do another project building. Why not? Okay, and then we can change these later. Okay, this is just temporary. So for right now, as I'm looking around, I can get a sense of scale. Okay, and then I can go ahead, I can move these and, and figure out exactly how they're going to be positioned because this is exactly how the player is going to see it. Okay, and then maybe, uh, maybe I put this a bit further back, right? Maybe we end up expanding into here. Uh, so we want to give this a little bit of leeway. Okay, same with this one, maybe a little bit further back. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and finish this out. I want something in the back, kind of fill in that skyline gap. All right, perfect. And, and really what you're going to do is eventually we'll build streets and everything. Uh, you don't want them to see this horizon line. Okay, this is what we're trying to get rid of. So as long as they don't see that, then we're going to be in a good spot to make this as believable as possible. As I'm going around, I can see, okay, and this looks good. There's one empty spot back here. Okay, let's just go fill it with one more building. Okay, once again, one more classy uh, style apartments. It's fine. There we go. Maybe there's a couple more of them. Why not? These are these are where the high risers are. All right. <clears throat> so I have created a, a nice 3D skybox. Okay. I've created it in my world. That's really the biggest thing. People don't build it in their world. They end up building a separate 3D skybox and they try to line it. Don't do that. 
hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of how everything works here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to select all of these. Okay? And we are going to tell it uh, that we want to create essentially a, a prefab for right now. And we're going to prefab our skybox for organizational reasons. Uh, we can put in a selection set and make it disappear, and we'll cover that in a little bit as well. Uh, selected objects, we're going to new prefab from selection, maintain world offset. Okay. Now, when you select that, it's going to ask, okay, well, uh, where do you want to save your file? Okay. Now, uh, you can go ahead and uh, we're going to create a prefabs folder. And uh, we're going to uh, save this prefab in our prefabs folder as a uh, uh, skybox prefab. And uh, we'll save it. Okay, so that way we know it's a skybox prefab. Okay, so here's what a prefab is. It's another separate VMAP. We've basically made another VMAP. And uh, it's sort of like an instance. <clears throat> and uh, this can be edited only if we click into it. Uh, for organizational reasons, though, we're keeping it here. And uh, now we're going to go ahead. Let's go into this... Um, Let's go into this prefab. Uh, let's select everything. Control A selects it all. Okay, let's uh, group it up. Control G is going to group it up. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this. Uh, Control C. Okay, this is going to copy all of these. And uh, let's go ahead and exit that prefab. Now I'm going to open up a new map. In this new map, I'm going to copy everything, all those buildings into this world. Now, if I want to paste it exactly where everything is, Control Shift V. Control Shift V. Let's take a look. Okay, it's going to press enter as soon as that dialog box comes up. And now we're going to have everything pasted in as if it was in the world. Now, the other thing we need to do is now that we have all these selected, okay, we need to go ahead and we need to center them. Okay, so when we select this, Okay, let's go ahead and press insert. Insert is to bring up the pivot tool. It's going to bring up these options. Where it says pivot, let's go ahead and click pivot, click world origin. Okay, now notice where it sets it. It sets it at zero, zero, zero. This is very important. And we need to scale this down. A skybox is not going to work the normal way. So we're going to scale this down to a 16th of its original size. So we're going to press E, go ahead and click on the universal scale. And as you begin to drag and drop it, just let go and type in the following. This has to be on your number pad, 0.0625. Now notice down here, it entered in that scale and press enter. Automatically, it's going to scale it down a 16th of its size, and it's going to do it based on the world origin. Now, here's an issue. If you don't have a U.S. keyboard, you might fall into issues. You might have to actually set your keyboard to do U.S. input. I know people who are using international keyboards have had issues with this not working. And if your keypad is not working, number keypad, you might have to try to figure out a way to do it manually. Okay, so now we have it a 16th. Let's do another thing. Okay, go to File, or sorry, Map. We're going to go to uh, Map Properties. And uh, come down here where it says Map Type. Let's tell it this is a 3D skybox. Very important step here. Okay, now, 3D skybox has a 16th, its original scale. It's, it's for light mapping. Okay, it's also to help with cube maps and the way that it voxelizes. It saves a lot when it comes. If whatever you can put in the skybox, if your player can't get to it, needs to go in the skybox. Now, this is the skybox basics. Let's uh, go ahead here in the entity selection tool. We need to go ahead and uh, we need to type in a uh, skybox uh, camera. Okay, we need to put a camera inside of here. And uh, let's go ahead. Now I'm going to click and press Shift O so we can see that little skybox camera. Notice it's right here in the middle. Press Alt Enter and make sure under Transform its origin is set to 000. Okay, there is 000. Okay, now it's in the very center of the world. Perfect. Okay, now we've set that up. Uh, we can switch between maps by pressing Control Tab. Okay, so. Uh, Control tab allows us to switch between. Let's save this though. Let's save this as. And under uh, prefabs, uh, let's go ahead and let's save this as 3D Skybox. So this is the actual 3D Skybox itself. Now we'll press Control tab and let's go back to the original map. Uh, what we need to bring into the 3D Skybox is two things your environment light and your environment sky. It's very important to bring these. So Control C, let's copy them. Control tab, switch to the other one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and paste it right into here. Control V. Okay. Now, 
understand that when we bring this in, okay, now the light is in the same direction and it's using the skybox that we are using from our main map. Now we could actually delete the skybox from our main map where we could leave it in, it's up to you. But we're just gonna leave it in for right now. And then later as we tidy it up, we can just go ahead and delete it as we go. Okay, <clears throat> so here's what's gonna happen now. I need to go ahead and I need to tell this that this has a skybox. So we're going to add a skybox reference because right now, even though we added a, a camera, <clears throat> we need a reference. Okay. So skybox reference, I can't type, <laughs> is what we're going to add into here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, put that in. And, uh, and when we put it in, select it, alt enter, and we need to also make sure the origin is zero, zero, zero. Very important they match up. Zero, zero, zero. Perfect. Now, the other thing we need to do, press Alt Enter, is we need to tell it what is the name of the skybox. So select this magnifying glass. Okay, now uh, we only care about one mod, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select these ones. Uh, I care about 3D skybox, there it is. So you can type it in up here, or you can select this, double click that, and now it's gonna reference it. Okay, let's take a step back. Okay, this is our selection set of our skybox. Let's hide it, let's press H. Look at this now, this is our 3D skybox. You have, if I press shift though to, sh to hide everything, a skybox. I can't click on this. Look, notice if I try to click on this, it doesn't work. Why? Because it's right now showing us a 3D skybox that the player can't interact with. Now, what's fun about this 3D skybox is we know anytime that we look at the 3D skybox, look at the way that it renders. The world is always going to be rendered in front of your skybox, whatever the player can see. So when we come back here, we look out and we see nothing. Look, it's to scale. And in the future, we're actually going to be able, if we wanted the skybox to start right here on this face, we could do that too. And we'll end up doing that later. But for right now, that's really a little bit more advanced and a little bit beyond what I would want us to get to right at this very moment. So this 3D skybox has been built. We press F6. Okay, we can see right now the shadows. Uh, in the 3D skybox, look at how they're affecting each other. But one thing is, <clears throat> the shadows in the 3D skybox, they're not affecting this map. So you've got to know when you build your skybox, okay, if you want these shadows to, to, to actually render and affect your world, you're going to have to put some block lights there. And that's something that we'll cover in an upcoming tutorial. Uh, but this is the basics of building it. Uh, you can go ahead, I'm going to press U. I'm going to hide, unhide those prefabs. So this is the prefab. And anytime that you want to, uh, you know, uh, edit your, your skybox, you know, go into the prefab, you know, make your edits, and then you're going to have to, you know, go back, save everything like we, we did, you know, put it back into that 3D skybox so that it updates the changes. But now you have a frame that you can build around. Now you can actually see in your world where it's going to be and how it's going to project to the player. And you can start to get really creative with your worlds. A rule of thumb always, if the player cannot interact with it, it goes up into the skybox. And if you can do that, you're going to find yourself in a very optimized situation. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I do apologize. It got way longer than we normally would like it, but this is a ton of information that we need to cover in order for you to successfully start building something that later is going to allow you to save those frames and optimize everything that you can. And also uh, be able to not be afraid of building skyboxes anymore. This is one of the biggest steps that you can take towards building beautiful worlds. All right. Hope you guys love this tutorial. Like and subscribe. If you want to join our discord, please, we welcome you to jump on in and uh, we hope to see you with our next videos.